Welcome back. Today we are doing a completely standing all bar routine to sculpt out some amazing abs and obliques. So grab a chair, you don't even need a mat for this one, and let's get started. We're going to start just resting one of your little paws gently on the back of that chair, feet hip distance apart, toes point forward, drawing navel up and in, starting as I like to start all the time with a nice little releve. So just up and down, really focusing on lengthening, lengthening every time you lift up. Speech is hard. Navel drawing in, so just up and down. And we're going to add on to this pretty fast. So give me four, three, two, and one. I want you to touch your outside leg, just touch those toes back, no weight in it. You're going to releve up, drive that knee forward. So drive up, bring it back. So you're still taking a single leg releve there. Little lift, touch it back. Little lift, touch it back. So already you should be feeling the lower abs engage. That's who's responsible for lifting that leg. Go lower abs for three, two, stay there on one. I want you to just hold it, pulse that knee for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest the heel back down. So keeping that knee really high, navel drawing in, press the chest forward slightly. You're just going to open it to the side. Hips will stay forward here. So I don't want you to do a big turnout like that. Chest will stay forward, hips stay forward. You are just opening that leg out. So you should feel the obliques engage to do that work. A little outward rotation, bring it back to center. Again, important that you keep that knee high to really feel this. Give me four, three, two, and then you'll keep it open on one. Pulse it there. So little tiny lifts. Go obliques, go. Stay strong. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that outside arm up and over. I want you to squeeze knee to elbow. Step back into a curtsy. Arm comes up overhead. Again, squeeze. Step back. Make sure that you are stepping far enough back that that front heel stays planted firmly on the floor. And I want you to really focus on driving that knee high because that is all about the abs. So we don't need to do a single crunch. No crunches. And give me three, two, one, stay all the way back here. So just if you need to, if you have a wall behind you like I do, for example, drop low into that curtsy here. We're gonna press it all the way up, squeeze the butt nice and tight, bring it down. As you come down, I want you to take a little twist toward that bar or chair, depending on where you are. Press it back up, drop it down, take a little twist, center back up. So really focusing on twisting from the navel. So it's not just a twist of the chest. No, no. Peace out, muffin top. And go for four, three, two, and one. Stay down here. Take the fingertips behind the nape of the neck, staying low. You're just gonna take a little tilt toward that chair or bar, bring it back up. So find that balance, lengthen through the spine, little tilt, bring it up. Little tilt, bring it up. Woo, and legs are burning too. And the magic of that is that that's what burns all the fat on top of the abs. So you could have the strongest abs ever 
and no one would know if they're covered in a layer of fat. So we need that lower body to burn that off. Give me two more here. Here's two and one. Bring it up, press all the way up. Woo. Step that foot in, give it a little shake out here. We will repeat that on the other side, of course. Of course we will. So feet back to hip distance here, toes point forward, right back into those releves. Feels like such a nice break. Welcome back to my life, releves. Nice deep breaths. Always pressing shoulders down here, chest lifted. Navel in. So we've got to train the abs to lie flat by really tucking in. Go for four, three, two, and one. Heels down. Touch the outside toes back again here. You're going to drive it up. Roll it back. Drive it up. Keep the chest pressing forward here. So we don't want to lean back away from that leg because then it's going to be all lower back and no abs. It's not going to feel very nice for the lower back either. Go for three, two, keep it lift down one, pulse that knee. So really focus on engaging the abs to do that lifting. Keep pulsing it for six, five, four, three, two, one. Heel rolls back down, knee stays lifted here. Open to the side. Swivel it back around the center. So side and center. Feel the abs working. You got this. Makes a nice break from, from crunches though, doesn't it? Either that or you'll do this and like just wish for crunches. If that's the case, check out one of my other ab exercises. Go for three. Two, and one, keep it open, little pulses there. So really, really controlled. Keep drawing the navel in, standing tall. And go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Outside arm reaches up, knee to elbow. Step it behind, dip down into that little curtsy. Squeeze, and reach. Squeeze and reach. And it doesn't matter if you don't touch the knee fully to the elbow. You will get there. So just work at your level right now, but always pushing yourself. And go for four. Three, I hope you guys can't hear my stomach growling. I, ho I hope the mic isn't picking that up right now. Bring it all the way back. But if you hear a little rumbling, it's because this is lunchtime. <laughs> so staying low right here now, you're just going to press up, drop it back down, take a little twist toward that chair or bar. Press it up, drop it down, back stays flat, little twist, bring it back up. So make sure, make sure that you've got a little fuel in the tank before doing this routine. And, uh, and refuel afterwards as well. That's my game plan. But until then, we're stuck with, stuck with some tummy rumbles. Go for three more here. Here's three. Two, and one, we will stay down here. So stay low, fingertips behind the nape of the neck, tilt in toward that chair or bar. Just a little tilt and lift. Legs staying strong, <laughs> going directly to the side here, maintaining 
a nice long spine as always. <laughs> and if you're wobbling, just find your balance. It'll be easier in the future. Give me three, two, and one. Woo step it up. Okay, we will get that chair out of here. We do not need it. Take the feet wide now. So toes pointing out, heels in, grounding out through those heels. As always, just lifting here, arms up overhead. We're gonna slide down, knees coming wide. Press arms down, all the way back up. So really important, as always, that you are keeping the navel pinned in to the spine here. Tail between legs. So tuck that butt under. And keeping the legs still nice and warm here. Again, that's how we burn fat. Use those powerhouses. Go for three, two, Stay here, obliques. We are not done with you yet. You're gonna take a little reach over to one side. So legs will not move here. That movement comes from the waist up. Little reach, little reach. So all about those obliques. Staying low here again. So we still have that nice little burn. And go for four, three, two, one, hold it here. We're gonna add on to that. So you're gonna give me a heel lift. Draw that arm up and over. So same arm, same heel. A little reach, lean over as you pop that heel up. A Little bit of balance. <laughs> Legs might be feeling a bit shaky right now. <laughs> I know mine are. I am there with you. Go for four, three, two, and one. <laughs> one last one here, hang in there guys. We got this fingertips behind the nape of the neck, sit low. We're just gonna drop elbow to thigh, elbow to thigh. So I want you to keep back long and flat here. Again, I say it a lot. That's because if you were leaning forward, just doing this, you are not gonna feel anything in those obliques. We gotta work the obliques. So form really is everything if you want those results. Keep going. And go for four. So close. Two. One, hold, and bring it all the way up. Oh, give the hips a little wiggle out. Take a couple of breaths here. Let's just give a nice little stretch. So I inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, reach up. Now you can actually press the chest forward a little bit, sink into those hips. I know you were tapped into them a little bit. So give them a nice little release. One more here, all the way down. Reach it up, turn the toes forward, reach a little higher, and exhale, forward fold here. Just give the hips a little wiggle out, so whatever feels good for you here. Just kind of slithering through it a little bit. Put a bend in both knees, sit the butt back. Flip the palms around. You're just gonna walk them back through the legs. So pressing chest between the knees, really sit into it. Hello hips. You can still wiggle it around a little bit here. So if you like a little bit of movement, go for that. For three, two, and one. Bring those palms forward again. Press the butt up. Walk the hands over to one side here. Turn that foot out, hands just framing it. I want you to inhale, lift, find a flat back, find the navel, and then square it up over that leg. Exhale, press down into it. If the knee is not happy here, keep a little bit of a bend in it. Take the hand to the inside of the ankle, and then inhale, peel up. Tucking bottom hip under, pulling that top hip back. Nice little stretch there. Circle that arm around, take it down, walk the hands over to the other side. Inhale. 
inhale, lift, find the navel, exhale, press down over that leg. Hand comes to inside, inhale, peel it up. Beautiful stretch here. And take it back down, turn that foot forward. Hands come to center, heel toe the feet, back to hip distance here. And then squeezing the butt, squeezing the abs, slowly roll back up to standing. Give the shoulders a little roll out. Awesome job, you guys. That was our bar routine for strong abs and sculpted obliques. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel to see more. And of course, leave me a comment letting me know what other workouts you'd like to see. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.